Spider-Man 2099 was the most popular alternate Spider-Man of all time. Of course you know who took that crown, but this video is not about him. Before Miles Morales swept the masses, Spider-Man 2099 was the talk of the town when it came to alternative Spider-Men. Miguel O'Hara was a brilliant scientist working at Alchemax, the corrupt multi-million dollar mega corporation. After a rushed experiment goes wrong, Miguel attempts to quit, to separate himself from the evil doings of his superiors. He is then tricked into taking a drug called Rapture, a chemical capable of killing the user if not regularly taken. Miguel stumbles off, only to attempt to sneak back into Alchemax later that night and attempt to reprogram the Rapture out of his body using the futuristic technology. The year is 2099, by the way. They all wear fucking weird-ass clothes here. What the fuck is going on? His old partner then sneaks in, sabotages the reprogramming, and instead adds in Alchemax's newest program, the Spider-Man Project. Miguel is then given retractable talons, incredibly enhanced vision, poisonous fangs, and the ability to shoot webs out of the tops of his hands. And of course, he dons a unique costume. What the hell is this supposed to be? What about this design is supposed to convey Spider-Man? When you head back to the second issue of Spider-Man 2099, Miguel notes that his claws tear through all his regular clothes. He only owns one item of clothing strong enough to withstand the talons, being his Death's Head costume he bought for a Day of the Dead festival in Mexico. Okay, hold on. What the fuck is a Death's Head? Death's Head is an entirely unrelated Marvel character who first appeared in 1987. 87? He was originally supposed to be a Transformers character until he started showing up in his own Marvel books. Um, okay. I guess I kinda see the resemblance. I guess. The logo on Miguel's chest is kinda similar. But what are we even talking about here? What the fuck does this have to do with Spider-Man? How does this even look like Spider-Man at all? I mean, he has a web cape and his lenses have some sharp accents on them that appear to call back to Peter's infamously buggy back logo, but that's about it. There's nothing much about this design that screams Spider-Man. And I'm not saying there has to be, but some more spider iconography would certainly help identify what superhero I'm supposed to be looking at here. There's a skull on his chest, red markings all over him. Is he bloody murder violence man? Death man? These names sound more fitting than Spider-Man, but fine, even if it doesn't look like a Spider-Man costume, it's still fucking cool. I adore the black and blue shading, and the red markings break up the blue very nicely. And while I may not appreciate the chest logo very much, it still looks very nice on the front. This design would go on to be the main design for the character in almost all of his future appearances, and is still his most famous look, weird skull logo and all. Although most of the time, his cape would be absent. In the Neversoft Spider-Man game, Miguel's suit is capeless, which leaves Miguel's blank back completely exposed, making this suit look so much more boring. This is not the first time this will happen. In Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions, Spider-Man 2099 is a fully playable character with his own levels and dedicated screen time, but he's capeless. They tried to fix this problem by adding a small holographic death head on his back, but that wouldn't do much to make this suit more interesting. In Spider-Man Edge of Time, Miguel appears again, with the same capeless model as last time. <sighs> this design does not work without a cape on the back, period. It makes his back look boring as shit. I'll forgive these games though, cape physics can be tough. They'll probably start giving him a cape by 2018 though. Fuck! Come on, man! Why do they keep doing this? This design is so neutered without the cape. There's nothing on the back at all without it. This isn't to say that I hate the original 2099 suit either. I like this design, I swear to god, even if it doesn't look very much like Spider-Man at all. But every time it's put somewhere else, it's made slightly worse. Which is such a shame, because the original design can look so awesome. If only there was a design for Spider-Man 2099 that preserved the colored and nuanced shading, maybe made the back interesting without any cape so it doesn't need the cape to look cool, and actually attempts to make the front logo look like a spider. Oh wait! Lord save me there is! When Across the Spider-Verse came out, Miguel O'Hara trashed his old classic look for a slightly revamped version. The front logo actually has a spider built into it while also keeping the death's head inside. 
The spider also loops around onto the back, giving Miguel a sort of spider head on his back. That's good enough for me. Very cool. A lot of the Spider-Man 2099 designs I've showed you today just tend to make him fully blue, or dark blue, instead of attempting to make him look close to his original comic shaded suit. I stumbled through the words a bit there, but I don't care. But of course, since this is Spider-Verse we're talking about, they had to re-implement his comic shaded look. And the cape shoots out the back. It's manually controlled, ladies and gentlemen. That's nice. I'm glad they accounted for how the suit would look, cape or no cape. This almost feels like an acknowledgement of how fucked up this suit can look when the cape is just ripped off with no explanation. There's a part of me that's kind of sad we didn't get to see very much of this classic 2099 suit he wears in the first film, but the design that follows is a spectacular revamp. Plus, there's a whole test animation on the internet of him wearing the suit. Capeless. But it's fine! Because it's so cool. In fact, I'm gonna let the whole clip ride. Anyway. The Across the Spider-Verse 2099 redesign is probably one of the best Spider-Man redesigns of all time. I can't wait to see how they handle his white suit, because I really dislike the original, I'm not gonna lie. I like the Death's Head still appearing through the spider, but I think the white just makes Miguel look so basic. It's not helped by how the suit is patterned out either. I do not like it as much as the original, and let me clarify again, I swear to god I love the original. But I'll tell you what's not cool about the original. It's not in Fortnite, baby! Anyway, that's the best transition I got for you. I'm not even sure how I'm supposed to go on. There's nothing else to cover. I'm just gonna plug some shit that I know you like. My Spider-Man show is full steam ahead. I'm working my ass off. I'm animating these clips. And you can watch them now if you just pay three bucks when you press the join button on my channel. You can see the in-progress shots of the show as they're made, there are also many other bonuses to being a member, like being more noticed in my live stream chat, or exclusive discussion posts, a discord which you can't get unless you're a member, and you only have to become a member once to be in the discord forever. Once your membership runs out, you'll still be allowed to stay in the discord. But if you don't want something that's temporary like a membership, you can buy merch! We have some more spider sweats in the shop. If these look cool to you, please buy one. They will never sell out, but this shirt will. Wait, what? Is that, is that me on a shirt getting stomped out by? I can't say that. I don't want to get copyrighted. Who the fuck is this? Let me look at, let me look at the video schedule here. Hold on. There's a Batman video coming out. Who the fuck approved this? Let me see the goddamn script for this thing. Give me that. PSM becomes Batman. 